Starting with a clean face, you're going to grab some primer. This one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and you're just going to add that all over your face. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation in number 112 and I'm just going to add dots all over my face and then use a beauty blender to just blend it in. For concealer, I used MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 and then I just added it to my under eyes and created a triangle downwards and then used a beauty blender to blend it in. To set my makeup, I just used Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder in the color Transparent and I just grabbed a really big fluffy brush and I put that on my under eyes as well as the rest of my face. I did want to do a slight contour so I'm grabbing MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Gold Deposit and I'm grabbing a dual fiber brush and I'm just squeezing it so it kind of looks like a fan and I'm using that to contour my cheekbones as well as moving it up to my temples and into my forehead and blending it in with my hair. I'm only using the Naked One palette and I'm starting out with the color Smog and I'm using this fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be adding this color all over my lid, kind of ending it at the crease. Moving on to Dark Horse, we're going to be using this flat eyeshadow brush and you're going to be using it to create kind of like a winged liner but with eyeshadow and you're going to be making it a little bit longer and a little bit more dramatic. Using the same brush, you're going to bring that color that you just added to the outside of your eye and kind of bringing it inwards to blend it in and you're almost creating like a V shape on the outside of your eye. For a little bit more darkness and drama, you're going to be using a liquid liner. This one is from L'Oreal and you're pretty much just creating a regular wing. Using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and Brunette, I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows like I usually do, but don't worry about making it too perfect because we're going to be adding something to it after. Using that same flat eyeshadow brush, you're going to be grabbing a black eyeshadow. This one is Max Carbon, and you're going to be adding this along your upper lash line, pretty much where you added the liquid liner. This is just going to make it a little bit darker and a little bit smokier. You're going to be using a tiny little brush. This one actually came with a gel liner we're using later in the video, but for now we're sticking to the black eyeshadow and you're going to be using that to create a stencil for the triangle that we're drawing underneath the eye. I pretty much extended the wing line downwards towards my cheeks and then on the other side I extended it from my tear duct and just met them in the middle. To fill in the triangles, I decided to use a gel liner, so this one is from Maybelline, and I just used this because it applies wet, but then it dries and it literally will not move, so you don't have to worry about it smudging or anything while you're wearing the costume. Using that same liquid liner from L'Oreal, you're just going to go through and just make sure all the edges are really clean, just because it makes it look more polished. And then I grabbed a black pencil liner and I used this on my upper and lower lash line just to kind of darken the eyes a little bit more. And of course you have to have some mascara, so this one is Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara, which is my personal favorite. Then I grabbed the eyeliner again and then I used that to create these small little dots at the end of the triangles just to give it a little bit more detail. So I grabbed the gel liner again and I decided to add a triangle on the arch of my eyebrows just to balance the look out a little bit. So just follow the same steps from the previous triangle for the eyebrows. For the nose, I decided to just use a black eyeliner just because I thought that this would look a little bit better than a red nose. So I just drew a little circle on the tip of my nose and just left a little white space in one of the corners to make it look like a highlight. For lips, I decided to go with MAC's Party Line because it's this beautiful oxblood color which I thought would be perfect for this look. So I started out by just filling in my lips like I normally do. 
And then I slightly overdrew the cupid's bow area of my lips just to kind of give it that heart shape. Then I grabbed the gel liner again, I swear this gel liner was like the MVP of this look, and I used that to create these lines on the corners of my lips, which make it a little bit creepier and a little bit more clowny. I continued to bring the gel liner around the rest of my lips, blending it in with the lipstick as I went along, and I just think it gives it a more complete and creepier look. And that pretty much wraps up the entire makeup look. And now moving on to the hair, you're just going to create two low ponytails, one on each side of your head. And I would recommend using a hair tie that matches your hair color just to make it blend in better. Then you're going to grab a teasing brush and you're just going to back comb both of the ponytails to make them really fluffy and messy. For the actual clown costume, I'm using this bodysuit that I got from H&M and then I just used some tights and some black patent shoes. To complete the look, I also added this little headband that has a clown hat on it. Again, I got this from H&M. Ha 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 ha!